There's a place, a school, an institution where a professor resides. Listen to words of Professor Buitron. Just like you have signature and re regional kicks, you also have signature and regional punches. And here in Laredo, there's, you know, we live in the border, and there was an old world champion by the name of the Battling Shaw. And uh, his name was Pettis. He was a police officer here. And my uncle trained with him. And he would also come in and also give a lot of pointers and coach alongside a lot of the boxers that were around like attorney Jimmy Sandoval and many many individuals understand and knew who he was because he was a he was the first Mexican American boxer that was taken to play. And a lot of places they have him as the only as the first Mexican boxer to become a world champion. There's a lot of things to his stories in the internet but I'm not gonna get into that but he was a police officer here in Laredo, Texas. And he used to call this El Rancho. Now a lot of people call it the Mexican hook or the Rancho Mexicano because this has been specialized from this area and kind of absorbed into Mexico because he fought one of the legends of Mexican boxing, Kid Azteca, and he actually beat him and then later on he got, I bet to believe he got beaten by him as the story goes, but he perfected the gancho and the gancho is a hit that looks like a hook and an uppercut kind of cut in the middle. And it's usually delivered to either your kidneys, your spleen, your liver, your liver, your kidneys, your spleen. And uh, it's done in that fashion. Can it be used offensively? Yes. Can it be used to set a trap? Yes. Can it be used as a counter? Yes. A lot of people throw the gancho with the lead hand, one of the greatest Mexican boxer that came of age was uh, was Julio Cesar Chavez, and you can see him use it. In fact, you, you saw him use it against uh, uh, Macho Camacho, and uh, he did an excellent job with him. And um, you see a lot of the other Mexican fighters, boxers that come out, and they fight. They they have the gancho in their ar ar arsenal. And here in Laredo, the great uh, Orlando Canizales. And, and his brother Gabby, they, used, they perfected that punch as well. And it's, a, it's an excellent punch. It's something that people need to train. How to train to get the mechanics. Because you can't just throw it because it's very dangerous just to throw it out there. So this is an, an advanced punch. This is not something that you teach somebody that's just starting boxing and he's going in the gym. This is somebody that's a little seasoned, a couple of burns underneath him. He's been rolled a couple of times both uh, in a smoker and maybe in an, and he's moving up on ranks in the fights. And that's when you start teaching them the intermediate stuff and everything else, you know, because you don't want to hurt uh, your students. You do not want to hurt your boxers, especially ones they, they go into the ring. Because remember, the ring is dangerous. It's a place of truth. If you're going to get in a fight, that's whether you have a word or not. That's uh, that's what makes the men's from the boys. It separates them. And uh, in today's age, that's why so many people go and look at fights because a lot of people are fakes, and a lot of people want to be that person up there that has a word that tells the other guy, yeah, at this time, at this place, you and I are going to meet out there, and basically one of us is going to come down off that ring, or both of us are going to shake hands afterward gonna have a nice little walk with destiny and that's where you separate the men from the boys in the ring. So right now we're gonna cover the gancho. I'll show a couple of how the mechanics goes in and then I'll show how it's used applied in a couple of offensive ways and also defensive ways and I'll show a couple of combinations and I'll even show you guys how to set up a trap. Alright? Now to explain the gancho as we're in, in a guard position, and he throws his lead, his, his jab, or his cross, let's look at it this way. What, what I'm trying to do with my head 
is and my head's going to swing out, it'll be at a continuous circle, a J. So if I'm here, and back and forth. I do not want you guys to rock and go in this fashion. So your hand is in a, in a 45 degree upward. Okay? Your hand's in protection as it comes in and back. Very light. Okay? I'm going to show you from the back how far my head goes out for me, for me not to show you all uh, movements that you can that can give you bad habits later on in the future. If we're in a guard position and he comes out. I do not want to do this. Okay? So I do not want to be like a bubble head. It's going to be a continuous J. Comes in. And what you do with this, you continue practicing it until you get a good mechanics, good habits, and then you move on forward. So right now, as a offensive move and a, a counter that we're going to use, we're going to go very lightly here. We're going to go jab, cross, gotcha. Okay? Jab, cross, go up to the side, gotcha. Comes in. Remember, what you're striking inside. Okay? Till next time. Alright, we're going to look at it in a defensive structure, the gancho. Okay? So, first, he comes in jab cross. Okay? Continue, jab cross. Now, jab, cross, down. See? Okay. That's how you start. Then you go slip. At first, lightly. Then slip. Right? Train at the best kept secret of Laredo, Bowie Tron Academy, 956-401-4868, Savat.biz.